Hello, I am Kim and I am a part of the Dynamics 365 Business Central Essentials team here at on Business Solutions. In today's video, we will be reviewing how to complete a bank reconciliation. Once a statement from the bank or credit card company arrives, we will need to ensure all transactions are accounted for in Business Central and reconcile the ledger entries to the statement to mitigate fraud and ensure accuracy. First thing we'll do is we'll navigate to Bank Account Reconciliations, select Cash Management, and select Bank Account Reconciliations. Alternatively, you can search for it in the Tell Me bar. On this screen, if you have any open bank statements pending posting, they will show up on this screen. I have already created a bank reconciliation. To start a new one, you would select Process and New. Once selecting New, this is what you will be presented with. On this screen, we are reconciling the checkings account. The statement number is 25. The statement date we will need to indicate. This will be the date on your statement. I am reconciling for April 30th, 2022. The bank last statement balance pulls over from your last statement close. The statement ending balance you will need to indicate this will be the balance shown on the bank statement. For my example, I have $33,288.78. Down below on the right side, you can see the bank account ledger entries, and these are entered within Business Central. The bank statement lines are left blank because we have to indicate whether we want to copy the lines over, manually enter them, or import those in. I will show you guys a few examples. To complete the reconciliation, the left side and the right side need to be matched to one another, and the matching lines create the reference between the two. Once those are matched and in balance, the line falls to zero. I've already mapped my import for the bank statement, and to import the lines from our bank statement into Business Central, I would select bank and import bank statement. With this, you do want to ensure that you have a CSV file from your bank. We'll select open, and you can see that the lines automatically populate based on that Excel. From here, you would go and look at all of the lines you can select the first two. This little arrow indicates those are the lines that are selected. Select matching and match manually. Once the lines turn green, that has indicated that they have matched. And in the end of the bank statement lines, there's no difference. The first entry is balance. Next one we'll look at is a datum corporation. You can see that there was a discrepancy between these two, and you can override those lines and edit as necessary even after importing. Now the School of Fine Art for $265. We can select match and match manually, and that's the same for the interest charge. As of this point, down below, it does tell us there's a difference of $10. On my bank statement, there was an overdraft fee that was never recorded in Business Central. To record the line, you can go out and manually record that, or you can select Process and Transfer to General Journal. This will copy the line details over. So for the options, you would select the journal template and the journal batch. I've selected General and Default. Select OK, and it will open up the general journals, and we will have to indicate the document number, as well as the GL account for the overdraft fee. And then you can see that the amount auto populates from that line, as well as the balancing account will be the che checking account. From here, this line is considered in balance, and we can check by preview posting. You can see the bank account ledger entry is now created. And these are the effects to the general ledger. 
once confirmed, we can post. We can hit back and go back to our reconciliation, and you can see that they've been auto applied once we've posted them. At this point, there is no difference, but we should test report just to make sure. So I'll go to actions, posting and test report. I shouldn't have any outstanding transactions, but I will select that so I have the copies and we'll preview this report. The main thing here is the difference of zero dollars. If there is a difference, the system will not allow you to post. You will get an error. The error will read statement ending balance is not equal to total balance. At this point in time, there is one outstanding bank transaction. We suggest that you save this report for future references. At this point in time, I am ready to post. To do so, you go post and select the post. Before I post, I do want to copy a few lines over and show you the other method. So I'm just going to select these three lines and delete them. And you can see that they've auto unapplied for us here. The next feature, if you do not want to use the import method, we can select more and select the lines that we want to copy over to the bank statement line. And what this will do is create the bank statement lines and auto apply them. To do so, we'll select process and suggest lines. The ending date should match the statement date and we can hit OK. And from here, you can see the three lines have moved over and the one that we previously entered remains selected. Again, we can test the report. And there's a difference of zero. At this point in time, my bank statement is reconciled. My reconciliation is ready to be posted. So again, to do so, we can select posting. We can post and print, or we can post. For today's example, I'll just post. Once posted, it removes itself from the bank account reconciliations as it is closed. And we can navigate to bank account statements to review what we've posted if you need to reflect. From here, we'll select the statement 25. That's the most recent posting. And it shows you the applied amounts, the statement amount, and if there's any differences. This can be printed. This concludes how to complete a bank reconciliation in Dynamics 365 Business Central. Please contact us if you have any questions. Thank you.